morning, everybody. We're just in inspecting the pumpkins. Dad's found two rotten ones. We're going to chuck them on the mound. They're not totally rotten, but... Yeah. So, got three bales to grab. I'll grab the one there, and then we'll grab two from the house. See, we've got two on the front, one male on the back. The reason why those two are so dry that are on the front, there you go, bullies, there you go, bullies. The reason why those two are so dry that are on the front is because they were bailed too late. When we wanted to bail them, the contractor couldn't get to them, and he finally bailed them a day later than what we wanted them to be. But it is what it is, I mean, you're so busy, so that's why it's so dry. It has been bailed since about November. So it was left out in the summer heat for a good day. So um, yeah, let's get to it. So Dad's the cows over, just slowly moseying through. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna hook a lift and run along that fence line down to where those cows are. Dad said he's put the tape down for us to get over it. So we'll follow Dad's tracks. This way, we'll avoid the wet spot. There's quite a wet spot just along that there. Oh yeah! Right, let's get sure we go feed these cows. Go, just put the back up again. So it didn't make too much of a mess again. Look at those girls over there, they're not even moving for that other bale there. That first bale is just so yummy. So if you're wondering why I didn't feed out the straight lines, it is because there are so many um, little holes and water filled little bits in there. I get stuck on it. Go through. Oh, thank you, Dad. Carry on. Follow Dad's little tracks here. Let's put the next reel up already. He's onto it. Alright, I wonder what we're gonna get we're gonna get up to today. The girls are happy over there with their three bales. <laughs> that first bale's definitely yummiest. Compared with the other two. So you'll find when the cows are actually eating that, those other two bales of silage, be a lot of walking around trying to find the good stuff in those bales. Right. We just finished helping Dad here, setting this reel up. Now, let's see what we get up to today. We took the reel that was across here and just pulled them along here, straightened them up, and the cows be happy there for the day. Hopefully, get some good sunny weather today. Looks like it's going to be quite dark though. Yeah, we are, we're grabbing another one of these bales. These are the ones that the cows are really liking at the moment. Alright, still wet through here. Big puddle there, can't be helped. 
we are probably looking at falling down in this year with something. We'll get to it eventually. Let's head on up the front. I think Dad said we're going to be working on the maize chopper today. Maize chopper, the two row maize chopper. Get her nice and set up so we can put her away. Okay, let's go. Did see a couple of birds fly out from underneath the bonnet this morning, so uh, we better lift the bonnet up. Just stop those birds from getting in there. Right, let's head over here. Go see what we can do with the maize chopper. Let's put the manual box in. Yep, lift the rack. Do you want to put a board shock it? Lock it up before we pop under it. Yeah, yeah. See how it's going. Pull down the bung. And we just fill it up. Can run the gearbox there. We just fill it up until it overflows. And you stop. Yeah. <clears throat> Simple. Yeah, so what oil are we using? Here AEW90 multi gear oil. Yep, heavy gear oil. It's very thick. Right, put it in there. Oh, Dash putting the bung back in now. Oh, oil coming out of the bung. Good. Yep. Gives it a good level. We'll give him back his little Allen key. It does it up. And you'll tighten it up with a little Allen key down there. And then we'll put this back on. Just tight. Still Let's give her a good little tweak. Right, won't fall down now. Right. Let's go have a hole, Snoot. That hole there. Held on by two little bolts down here. Gee, fellas. Awesome. Look at that. This is how we tighten them here. Yep. So whether we loose them off, put them in another hole, or just tighten the bolts up, pull them back. It's got room there. Dad just noticed there's a spring in here, and that's what we want. So, that's so what we've done is we've shifted him from here, from that one there to there, so it's tightened up the chain a bit. Let's put the teeth more in line again. See that? Beauty. It's not too tight. Well, it's self-tightening. Yep. You don't want to give him an extra turn? A little bit, because he's... Sorry. A little bit. Yep. Yep. Like that. Perfect, I'd say. Really nice. Awesome, just easy as. So now we're going to put the snip back on. Don't look at anything else while we're here. No. Any don't. grease nipples? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. <clears throat> now we know what to do on the next ones. Yeah, so now we know how we do them now. You might not have to take the next one off. Pretty easy. That's the next one. Are you going to pull the next one off? Should pull this smooth off, mate. Because these chains are loose too. I just pulled the, this piece off here because it's very dry. All straight now. Yeah. Just going to grease her up. Grease gun. Easy shaft up. There you go. Yeah, put them back together now. Towel on the same like this one. A split pin and a washer on top. He's all greased up. He's got no reason at all to be stiff now. Tighter? See? Yep. Do you want them tighter? Yep. Okay, you want to do the last one? Does that one move? 
Or is that one just going to be big headed? He moves slightly. Yep. How's Tensioner? Yeah, Tensioner goes. Is he moving? That way? Yeah, he's moving here too. Tensioner's moving. It's a good sign. Is he moving the whole thing? Hey, yeah, this, this, this piece is moving here. and that's moving, yeah. Yeah, he's going back and forth slightly. Right. That means he's greased up. He's accepted the grease. <laughs> Very loose and him up. Got him? Oh, beautiful. Better? Happy? Yep. Very. Awesome. Now, this one. Last one. Oi, he floppy. That real bad. Let's get off, or can we do it without it? We might as well pull this one off as well and give him a good grease up. It's just a bit tight as well. If he wants to come off. On the last one. Right. Snap off. On to the next one. I just pulled that one off. It's tight as. We even had to use a bit of a pry bar. It's a pry bar, eh? Yep. Steel bar. <laughs> and just lifted them up. Come on off here and popped them up. Took a little bit of bashing, but we got them up. Just grease them up, we'll put them back on, and hook them back up. Couldn't be any worse. Nope. There we go, he's back on, all greased up. Now we'll put the chain on and pull him over. Dash checking the tension. Everything moving? Yep. It's all moving, that's a good sign. Very happy. Happy with that? Yep. Right, put it all back together. Chuck all our little covers back on. Like that, look at that. Perfect. That's what holds the whole stew time. That's that guy up, isn't it? All done? Very well. That okay, that's all that holds that on too. Holds on this big scoot in the middle. And Dad's put on those two bolts that go up the back there right in front. Sweet. Last one. Yeah, she's all back together. All the chains are tightened up. Look good. All right, we'll give her a quick freeze up and uh, put her away. Put her away. Have a holiday. Yep, put her down to the big shed. Dad's going to meet us down the farm. Yes, you can hear that on the back. We've got two row chopper. We're going to go drop them in the far barn. That's her all done for the season. Very happy, she's all put away, all cleaned up. And giving her a quick run just to get any water or anything out. Awesome, all our equipment's put away, all our maze equipment's down here. The rippers for the maze, rotary hoe, the maze, the two maze choppers, the single row and the two row, and of course the maze wagon there. Beauty, right, with that, we'll head up the front and see what else we get up to today. That's us today, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Yep. So our plan tomorrow, though, we're going to be spreading all day tomorrow. Because we've got to, we're going to take the trailer off that tractor there. And we're going to leave the trailer off here. Take the bucket off her. Probably going to be spreading all day tomorrow. And yeah, she's still got the bale feeder on her. All right. Let's get Little to that. dogs for a run. Yeah. They're after a rabbit.
<laughs> Good little dogs. Right. That's us. We're back from the walk. Tractor and trailer over there put away nicely. Tractor ready. Bobo's all wet from his run. Arrow's all happy. Then I'll see you all in the morning. We'll probably be doing some uh, spreader. Get the spreader out. <laughs>